Welcome back to Booty, Session 13, Part 2. You join me, Alex Smith, your Dungeon Master, here today to discuss what these three idiots, Ross Tommy, Chris Trott, and Craig Frost, will be doing Hello. today in the world of Booty. There'll be high seas and low expectations. And as always, Japes. Uh, right, last session, you lot Jibs. fought off a sea hag. Yes. You nearly so got did. tricked by it. No. Sorb was acting the whole time, whole which time. was actually really impressive for a guy with um, very little performance mm. role skill. What's your performance stat? I almost acted up, if you know what My I mean. performance stat. Yeah, you nearly got drowned. Sorb got punked. Got two. Minus two. Minus two. So he, he wasn't acting. How did I do it? There's very little chance he was acting. Um, so Sorb got punked. Uh, by a sea hag of some description. We're not calling it, it it's a sea hag of... N. That's my performance role. Minus two. Yeah. Oh, oh well, I it was minus two. Two. Okay, well, you, you failed. Um, he was nearly suckered in. Kipipi was suckered in momentarily until uh, oh, no. he saw the error of his ways. Titus was skeptical the whole damn time. He saw that hag for what she was. What was she? Unreal dream. <laughs> <laughs> An unreal dream. Um, <laughs> You fought her off and her little skeleton minions quite well. I think the volley from the ship's excellent cannons certainly did a bit of work. More work than I was anticipating. Mm, yeah, um, right. I was like, yeah, no, there's like uh, nine barrels. Yeah, yeah. No, what's that? No, it was only nine D6. And we didn't even damage. trigger it. They did Amazing. it themselves. They fucked them up. Uh, anyway, uh, you guys did great. You learned a little bit about yourselves, about each other. There was a little bit of squabbling. Um, I mean, you know, as a DM, I was a little bit disappointed with the amount of squabbling between well, you guys. I would neutral. hope, would have hoped by this point we you'd form a. We were out of our minds. You were somewhere out you of didn't mind. See you didn't see her, DM. So still, I was uh, out of my mind. You didn't see her. I don't know how beautiful she was. We've been, you, it's been a long time at sea. Put yourself in our shoes. You Come were on. at sea a long time. I went to the cabin to release myself, and I'll yeah, be fine after that. That's how we finished it. We finished it with. Is that your short rest? Going for and I quote, going for a wank. A wank. Um, which, of course, if you're American, is to jerk off. To jerk it. To jerk your jerk stinky it. little ding dong. Jerk it. Hey, wait, hold <laughs> on. I'm going to get some jerky stinky little, little ding dong in the cabin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to squeeze my hog. And I'm going to be, com I'm going to become uh, part and parcel to the trope of having uh, moisturizers and hand lotions in all films for masturbation, which really confuses Europeans because a lot of the time we, we don't need that. But because none of you have your foreskins in America, you need it. You need Otherwise, it. it's a chafing experience <laughs> of friction and pain. European cheese. European cheese. Give me the hood. Give me the hood. Raise my hood up. <laughs> he wants ah, it. He's raised his. Look at this hood. It's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. It's <laughs> normal so and natural. And I wasn't cut as a baby. He's uncut. We've all got big old snood dicks. <laughs> well, that's uh, our opinion but honestly, no one should be cut as a child. It doesn't make sense. I'm anyway, happy to use our this platform is not what this is about. to get our opinions out there. Though. <laughs> sure. It's not this what is this show platform. is about. It's not you about... tuned in today, you were expecting a D D podcast, not bragging mm. about the fact we still have yes. <laughs> yeah. that some old man cut me as a child. <laughs> weird. It's weird to me. <laughs> and when we continue, and when we get really cold, we can climb inside them. Like we do a like a snood. <laughs> yes, yeah, um, so it covers my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, anyway, the evening draws in. Have we short rested? You've long rested. We've long rested. Oh, look shit. at this! I didn't bring me long rest. rest every session. Come on, you, the the day passes. You spend an evening. Uh, the automaton slowly but surely man the ship, adjusting lines where needed for a peaceful evening sailing through. Are they the got any lime scale build up or anything like that? They don't get lime scale build up, no. Not calcified. Tea. You mean barnacles? Yeah, more like salt water. Like you know, you might need to re-oil their wood and their metal. Um, so maybe that's something that anyone sword needs to stiff? look at. You need to get down there and say, anyone need their wood oiling? And then they all look round to you and they're like, yep. I see that. Coil. You said the magic words. Lifeless <laughs> expression in your automaton face. I know what you want. Yeah. As you go down into the gun deck, your uh, homunculus is towel whipping. Some of the right. other ones, like it's like a locker room. <laughs> they're towel whipping the automaton. What are you doing, like, and they're not they're not reacting, but he's loving it. He's loving the sexually Thoughts charged male environment. Yes, why does it make me feel good? I named you that. Yeah, you did. Because you're a cakey little oh, shit. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. When I was, when a, child, I was a little chocolate version of you, a little chocolate homunculus. What are you doing down here? Oh, sorry. Great, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I heard the whipping and I had to come. Huh? We need the new tape, don't we? We need the new tape. Oh, God. Apart. <laughs> so yes, you want a little chocolate version? You no, know, when I was younger, I had a chocolate homunculus. It melted. Oh. I know, it didn't talk, though, like these ones. These ones are great. 
Yeah, this is made out of no, wood. Well, the automatons don't talk either. They're like kind of really basic mm. robots, but the, the homunculus, homunculus talks. Yeah. My Dr. Feelgood, yeah. Dr. Feelgood. He's got a right personality. He's got a right He's personality. a perverted drill sergeant. Yeah. That's literally the personality I've been working and honing my arts and crafts on. This is still this. is actually taken from a moment he was shouting, PEG THAT DROID! Oh, sorry, automaton. Yeah. Absolutely. So they, they've all been... <laughs> PEG! PEG! He's PEG. He's PEG! Uh, uh, um, He's a kinky little fucker, that one. Did any of them go a bit and try and kill him? Huh? Did any of, them, any of these automatons they, they, try and kill him? Or they, no, they're, they're lifeless. lifeless. They just take it. They don't they're, care. They're they're just take it's like seabirds. It's like they could shoot a seagull if they wanted to. They're not going to bother. Um, unless he becomes a real pain in the ass. I don't know. It depends how it's used. Uh, anyway, the night rolls in. It has rolled in fully. The fog uh, lifts as morning ar arrives. You guys have slept well down in your wonderful uh, bedrooms in the back of I your ship. I wish this was a mushroom stem. You wish it was a mushroom stem. It's not as well insulated, but it is warm and dry, much drier than the inside of a mushroom. Uh, your glass bottom, can't see much. Occasionally, um, your... Like, this is a bad idea. Titus wakes think. up in the middle of the night and there's just a shark just <laughs> bumping <laughs> against oh. the glass. Oh. <laughs> <Just> doom, <laughs> doom. <laughs> And you're just hoping that you, you, you dim your candle next to you. <laughs> just holding the, the little... It, it tries to get its eye the out to the glass deterrent. just to see what's going on. Not again. As you no, clutch... I, 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 I shrunk you. Your <laughs> anti shark you blew, up, you blew up. You should be dead. There's only two of you. I got you. <laughs> Dunk. And as you're sailing out, each of you experience a different horror in the night. Like, you know, a couple of you see giant squid and you're just like... This is weird oh. to be sleeping in a glass bottom. <laughs> Why did we get this glass bottom? <laughs> These things need to be unseen. This is nightmarish. You can imagine, you imagine it in the them. daytime over beautiful corals, but at night in deep ocean. Look at the eye of a horror. giant squid. <laughs> just, oh. I mean, for a, thalassoph at... for a thalassophobic, you're literally sleeping in a dark, deep ocean. That's where your bed is. And every time you look over from your, your I'm cousins... I'm trying to. I'm like, I shouldn't be thalassophobic. You shouldn't be thalassophobic. But you are. I mean, I am. Yeah. As a person. Yeah. Ook. <laughs> Out of character, sure. But Titan, he's fine with it. He's fine. He's just a bit like, oh. He's more fearful of the Oh, that glass surface. is thick enough is all. So you actually, you can talk to the shark then through the... All right, mate. Don't push on the glass. Do, do, stop it. I've killed... Bigger beasts than you. And then he just swims off into the deck. Yeah. Just okay. see him like. <laughs> and then later on, another shark comes by. Hello. Dung. <laughs> Your mate just tried the same thing. Go away. <laughs> he swims off. A third shark. What do you believe? Hello. Dung. <laughs> All right, what do you Dung. want? He can't communicate. You can communicate to him. He can't communicate sure. with you. Some spells I can do. <laughs> uh, tongues. What inside. does tongues do? Do I really want to use tongues? Maybe not. Oh, yeah. I think it works creature you touch. The, oh, I need to touch. They it. need to know at least one other language. The ability to understand any spoken language it hears. Moreover, when the target speaks, any creature that knows at least one language can hear the target understand what it says. That's pretty cool. Maybe but you I need cast to touch tongues it. on a shark. Oh, you okay. Could touch it though. You could cut a little hole in the glass. I'm not doing that. Don't do that. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, tar. <laughs> we're, we're sinking very much so. Get the tar man in. Um, okay, so. How is this glass bottom sealed, sealed mm. to the wood with tar. of the ship? With, with yeah, tar. with sealing tar, yeah. Of course. The same way the rest of the ship is like sealed together. Is it's it not a like nice job? Blue. Yeah, no it's a lovely edge. job. It's, you can barely see it. Like the glass itself has been shaped as well. Paid for this. It's um, it's 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 magical, like enhanced glass. Like this is all made for by made for you by the artisans. Like this is top quality stuff. Um, we should really get like a light or something because it is literally pitch black, apart from the occasional thing that bumps. Do you want to see? <laughs> so what? you step out at night. You step out into darkness when you move. This is like a void that I'm walking out. Do you, you want to see that, that? What's in there though? Well, you yeah. Want to, do you want a light what's in the dark? The boat. I think we should project a light. We should out. have a giant, Maybe take one from your stage or something. Extreme beam of light from the bottom. Beam of the boat. Of light down. Oh, wow. It's almost like a goddamn beacon for anything underneath you. Yeah. You know, like like sea creatures are attracted to light. Yeah. yeah. Does hobgoblin lift his life on the surface? Well, no? we have like a like a red light, so it's not so prominent. Mm. I want to see what life is. What's you. the point of getting a glass bottom boat if it's all just dark? It felt like. Do you have the light spell? Again. Do either of you have the light spell? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't. Think so. I have like fireballs and stuff, but no. No, I don't. Mm. Nothing of that sort. Oh, heaven forbid you end up in the dark somewhere. 
though. <laughs> the same logic no. was applied. All you guys like, the most powerful, supreme magic users. Can't it's see. dark. Can't it's see pretty shit. dark. Wait, don't you have time. dark vision as a hobgoblin? Don't yeah. you? I have dark vision. You have dark vision too, Kapifi? I don't think Kapifi. I don't think Kapifi does. So you so guys can actually it. see like shapes and stuff. You see them before the sharks. Sixty bonk. feet of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so That's pretty good actually. Kapipi doesn't though. Kapipi lives in in like pure bliss, like complete mm. ignorance. I'd rather every not know. What's you, in you there? just shit yourself when like these like Greenland sharks. Have you oh, seen no a Greenland way. shark before? Like the real long, yeah. gross oh. ones. They usually yeah. go blind. They're, gross, They're like those. Yeah. They're just like dunk, dunk. Just waking you up. They're just pissing you off. They're just fucking with you. Oh, there's another one. For God's sake. Dunk. You go through a flock of them. I an can underwater see why flock. This, isn't <laughs> 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 this isn't common. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, we get a very restful sleep. You get a really restful sleep beyond the three or four times the sharks wake Perfect. Titus up, trying to get his attention. Um, <laughs> next morning, breakfast is being cooked. You wake up, fresh as a daisy. Ooh, Ooh what's that smell? Delicious smell of Hans Mandy's legendary cooking. And uh, you hear him <laughs> above, You again. hear him singing above. I like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> oh, what a lovely place to be. Handsome Andy, shut the hell up. Oh, morning, Sarah. Are you up? Are you down there? What food have you got for me? Uh, well, I got... Me first. Okay. I sit down. Okay, you I sit... Storm in. That singing cat. is as ugly as your face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm a grouchy. I, I, I've worked um, a few times in the night. <laughs> <laughs> that disturbed nicely. Uh, yeah. I didn't um, mean it. It smells lovely. Uh, in the ca in the quarters of the, um, you know, up, up on the top deck in the back room, got a captain's table laid out for the three of you. Lovely laid out plates, forks. A couple of the um, Loxodon forks have been placed out, sort of for a joke, but you think you might be able to use them. They've got really big handles. Um, I found them. I will use them. Yep. Okay. It's like you have to hold it like you're holding like a Pringles it's can. It's fine. And then there's a fork on the end of it. <laughs> Just a regular fork. Tempted, yeah. Tempted to use a king's lance. <laughs> yeah. Cut this with. Um, <laughs> it's too long. But yeah, <laughs> the, the lovely breakfast laid out, vegetarian, because um, well, you can either you can have salt fish if you want, but no fresh meat on board. Sorry, it's all. Not even after blowing up that sea hag. What are you going to eat? A bit of rotten flesh. Right, a bit of crab, a bit of crab, a bit of fr fish, fried fish for breakfast um, with some crab, and then you have uh, like fried potatoes. You have some eggs. You have. Some you must have been slaving away for what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 15 20, minutes yeah, 15 before minutes, we please. woke up. Yeah. Well done, handsome Andy. How's that bucket treating you? Oh, I have got used to it now. The chin strap sort of made a groove in the bottom of my jaw, which seems to be fitting real nice. Locked it in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. Good job. Um, cheers then. Uh, right, well, when you're done with this, I'll clear it up. Yeah, I'm um, done. So he takes the plate and just throws it against the wall. <laughs> um, no, he doesn't. He goes and ties it away. Uh, as you came up on the deck and went into the captain's quarters for breakfast, you see that the fog has lifted. It's quite a nice clear day. Uh, it's, it's starting to warm up. Clouds are high in the sky um, with a lot of blue sky, but still patchy and cloudy. The uh, sea condition is uh, getting a bit choppier. Well, the wind has picked up um, and the ship is moving at a faster pace now, which is good. But, you know, there's a bit more chop and swing and sway. Uh, and everything seems to Dr. be going good. Dr. Feel Good. Yes, sir. Let's get a sit rep on the situation. How's the automaton crew this morning? Automaton crew, much like they were last night, sir. Slightly damp, slightly rusty. Uh, they may need some uh, attention if you want them to work uh, as good as they possibly can. Cannons are all loaded, ready to fire. We like to keep them in that position. Some say it's a little bit dangerous, but I do like a ready to fire cannon. Uh, yeah, the automaton are good. Sir! You dip them in a hot Golly, soil bath. Maybe. Will that help them or hinder them? I don't know. Hot oil? I didn't Would make that, these yeah, ones. Yeah, have you a uh, hot oil bath, little just dip? You could the, oil them. I wouldn't, it doesn't necessarily need to be oil. hot. Might be nice on them, they might feel something. Oh, I doubt that. They're very, they're very simple. They're a cheap. <sighs> we'll put it in a can then and cover the key areas. Just scrub around the key areas. Yeah. Nice. Little toothbrush around those. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's him like using his paintbrushes to just yeah, like flip. chipmunk eating nuts. Huh? That sound. A chip monkey. Chip monk eating nuts. Chip monk, sorry, right, okay. Chip monkey. A chip monkey. Chip monkey. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be one of those at McDonald's. Uh, what do you want to do this morning, brave adventurers? First mate, Bongo. Or, oh, uh, yes. You're the map kind of guy, you're the smart one. No, oh, you flatter me. How close do you think 
we are to the horn. Oh, I'd say less than a week. Less than a week. Still a week. Oh, God, it's boring. It's a long shit. way. Why didn't you it's tell us halfway across the ocean. ocean. God damn. Which ocean? The not Atlantic, the one we're currently on. Why other oceans are there? Well, there are many oceans. Couldn't tell you all of them. I don't know them myself. I've what? only really sailed around the islands, some river inlets. Uh, have you ever left the not Atlantic? Oh, I, I've left the not Atlantic. Where yes. have you been? Uh, there's a sea up uh, where my people come from, the Dwarven Kingdoms. Uh, mm. we, we have a small sea. Uh, called it the Dwarven Sea. The Dwarven Sea, how'd they get that name? Well, it's due, due to its proximity to dwarves. Oh, and no way. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, we have very little boats that run on coal and steam. So you know they're little because you spent time away from dwarves, but I assume to dwarves, they're just boats. They're just regular boats, yes. Yeah. But whenever any other, you know, taller races come on board, they always complain. They're like, oh, this is small. Oh got a crouch for in here and obviously we're there rolling our eyes we're like yes we're, we're small did you name this did the dwarves name the sea i you did yes so to us would it be like a lake no the sea itself is large okay we, you we, can we, tell. dwarven sea and because it's in its proximity right. to dwarven people not because the sea itself is dwarfed in comparison to larger sea. it'll just be more of a novelty yeah. at that point okay if that were the case i assume uh, it's mm. quite old i think it's quite ex are you close to the edge uh, the edge of what Edge of what? The world. I hadn't thought about it that way. I heard that uh, the world was a large cube. What the hell? What happens when you get to the edge? You go round the corner and then you're on another flat bit. I've oh. always been... See, this is the thing that scared me about the ocean. One of my biggest fears of sailing right. is going off the edge. Yeah, you've got so, to be we, so you're saying it's impossible to fall off the world? Well, the edge is guarded, mostly. Well, at least that's what the hobgoblins tell each other. Really? Yeah. Mm. Got it by like vicious beasts and monsters about. and sea just creatures. Done, and just that. haven't thought about it. Well, a lot of us haven't bothered. I haven't really thought about it that anyway. much. I don't think about it that much. Do you? No. I don't. That's what Terrifying I concept, that. It is. It is. Uh, well, all that must have killed a bit of time. How long's that? Go on, Brilliant. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> we made it. It's a week's worth of conversation. <laughs> no, he does say, Go on, Brilliant. What are you looking at? What is Off it? the distance to the front of the ship. Several hundred feet away, several hundred meters away, in fact. <laughs> Three times what I originally said. Oh my um, God. Several hundred meters away off the starboard bow, which we all now know is which side of the ship? The right side. You pointed left and did five with your hand. He doesn't know. <laughs> five, five, he does. five letters, right. <laughs> left. <laughs> but I'm doing left. It's, I'm doing it's, camera it's the right. side, that it's the camera side right. that the Titanic hit the iceberg on. Mm. So if you remember that scene in your head, that's <laughs> that how you know what side the We're remembering it. That's Stop. the way the stars <laughs> See, a lot of people well, remember it, port, left, same amount of letters, letters as yeah, left. Yeah. Yeah. But I picture, say, iceberg off the starboard bow. Okay, <laughs> in that scene, it hit it on that side, and he was like, no, looking over that railing, so that must be the right. <laughs> that's how well, I, I stand remember. this way. You relive the Titanic. That's how I every remember time. starboard and port. <laughs> okay, Pee Pee, good job we got you on board. I mean, doing port, four letters. Left. That's all very well for knowing which side's left. Then you but how do you know which side's right? right? <laughs> That's very true. Good point. Um, so, off the starboard bow, a few hundred meters away, you see an incredible sight. <laughs> it is a gargantuan sea turtle. This sea turtle is the same, almost the same size as the uh, kraken you fought. You know, this is a one of the great beasts of the ocean, one of the le legendary creatures. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> it makes me burp just thinking about it. God, the fear. <laughs> this is one of the legendary creatures of the ocean. Wait, um, is that the horn? Yeah, is this like one of the creatures of the horn that's just got like... You said we were a week away, but he's right here. Well, oh, I've never seen something like this before. I've heard stories, but oh, I don't think we're at the horn yet. We're is he fully above the ocean or is it just like a dome kind of? So it's mostly above the ocean. And what you see is that it's not actually a natural sea turtle shell shape, or not the one you'd expect. Instead, the shell is a triangle. It's a large triangle. With the front... Uh, if you imagine a, a triangle, triangle sat on its flat. Is it 2D uh, or 3D? Triangle <laughs> or pyramid, yes. Is that one triangle um, always facing us? Like a pyramid? Uh, it's like a pyramid, but there isn't a point at the top. Um, so... Cone? Uh, no cone? <laughs> so you know, <laughs> right, imagine, you know Quality Street? 
You know the green triangles in there? Yeah. Oh, so it's like a flat triangle. Imagine it flat, right, on its front, yeah. And I then um, the, the, the flat edge of one of the triangles, that's where the right. head sticks out. Then the legs stick out the back on the diagonals. That goes, so it, it's a triangle laid on its back where the point is at the rear of the beast, okay? The point of a triangle is at the rear of the beast. So the head's in the middle of one of the flat sides? Yes. Equilateral or isosceles? It's an equilateral-ish. Okay, so an isosceles um, if it's ish. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does it look like land? <laughs> huh? It doesn't look like land. It looks like a giant fucking sea turtle. Uh, oh. You know, the shell itself looks like a sea turtle. Everything apart from the fact that it's A, bigger than your ship, and B, triangular in shell shape. It looks like a sea turtle. What is also odd about it is it doesn't seem to be swimming like you'd imagine a sea turtle to where it's barely above the surface. It's quite far above the surface and its arms and legs are kind of like uh. sort of trying to do a breaststroke style maneuver. As you get a little bit closer, your ship is sort of intersecting with it. The, 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 the beast is currently swimming sort of intersecting with your course. So it's coming across um, the front of where you're heading. As it moves across, you notice to the rear, it seems to be towing a smaller ship, a ship of about your size. Um, seems to have latched onto it. Imagine a horse pulling a wagon. They seem to have like hooked up ropes and things to this, uh, to this beast. And you can hear yelling. Um, you can see people on deck moving around. They're trying to wrangle or seemingly trying to wrangle or control this beast. Um, from the flags and from the sails of the ship, you know this to be a ship of the Church of Triangulus, the Church of the Three-Pointed Star. Uh, and uh, yeah, what do you want to do? Oh, You're great. close to this ship. And it's ship. pretty dangerous. Oh, Does yeah. Giant, can you talk to the giant turtle? Is that in your thing? You talk no, to it's it? a totally different species. I've gone it over It looks this a little before. bit like you, but it's got a triangle back. I'm not sure yeah, I mean, we should get ourselves involved with the, the Three-Pointed Hokey we've got zealotry. A mission. We've got a mission. We, we should just beeline for what yeah. we... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear on the ship that they seem to be playing music or... Do you think that's coming through on the mics? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, listener, has... Sounds like started up a really loud car radio and they use a rave next us. door. It sounds... Oh wait, it's going. No, it's not. Uh, Bizarrely loud though, doesn't it? That was weird. Maybe it's not loud, <laughs> maybe these just aren't very soundproof. Yeah, it could be that. Yeah. Let's whisper. Okay, we'll whisper. This Don't is want them to know we're playing D&D in it. Um, anyway. I okay, so, can't hear it, it's fine. Uh, the... Yeah, what, sorry, what did you decide you were going to do? Look, I've come across the three-pointed star a few times in my life. The last time was when, you remember we used that portal? on the top yeah. of that remote oh, island. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I briefly yeah. blipped there, and there was a big shark on a massive pedestal who was part of the religion. Right. I got oh, street bad, sharks. Bad vibe. Are you from, a believer in the three-point stuff? No. Nah. What do they believe? It's like a pyramid scheme. As the ship, the ship scheme. is moving closer and closer. Yeah, I mean. You're only 100 meters or so from the ship now, um, and you can see uh, there's a crew of about 10 people, a mixture of like, uh, just regular crew, looked like they might be hired or something working the ship. A couple of armed guards moving around on the deck. And there's also several, you think maybe three, of the very recognizable priests of Triangulus on board. They seem to be casting a spell together, um, aimed at the turtle. And... Uh, Wealthy nut jobs. They notice you. They notice your ship. And they... Uh, you know what I think? I think... They they know about this triangle sea turtle and they're like, oh my god, it's like the reincarnation of their blah blah. Right, it's God. Yeah, and they're like, oh, we got to subdue it. Yeah. And it's really big though. Do you think that they're it gonna is it's gonna kill us? Nah. Well, let's just not provoke it. I mean, we can see what they're up to. Just, like, yeah, they look harmless enough. They quite exhausted after last time, even though I had a long rest. It's just, it's big. It is big. Yeah. Wouldn't, yeah. Not, I, I don't probably, fight let's it. just say we believe. You've had a long now. rest. Now. Let's say we. I know. I just feel yeah. just. We've had a lot of fighting recently. Oh there. Oh, they're shouting oh, over. Yeah! Hello there! Look the other way. No, no. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, I thought we were... Yeah, oh, no, no, no. They, well, I've, I've said hello now. The turtle oh. stops its, like, swimming. And, I mean, it was moving at quite a pace as well. The, the ship was moving probably a little bit quicker than you could under sail. Um, so, um, the, 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 the turtle seems to relax and oh, then just been, sort of float. It's been non-aggressive. Give oh, a bit yeah, of a... Yeah. Giving it a bit of a break. What kind of vibe are you suggesting? Like I'm going to be angry or something? Fuck off. Tell the automatons Jesus. to chill. 
I well, think Tom this one is chill. chill. Go back into your quarters uh, for a second. Whatever your name is, Homunculus. Love good. Doctor Feel Good. Feel Good. Doctor Feel Good? Hey, Doctor Feel Good. Yeah? Don't fire yet. We don't know. If okay, I'll, I'll pass that on to the crew, but I mean, you're good, not my just, master, but I'll I'm listen. just saying. Can I, so I listen to him? Yeah, you can listen to him. I'm just saying, last time you started firing, no one said go. I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. I said loose cannons. I mean, no, not now. Your head was in a puddle. You are underground. I said loose cannons. Underwater? Not at the time. That was before I got drowned. Right. You said loose so cannons never and they mind fired. Then. Let's just... I think you said something what? about like, what? wonder what those cannons can do or something like that. What those cannons do? What those cannons do? Yeah, do you I think that's what you said. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, is loose cannons just mean fire? Be cautious. If these were tied up tight and we needed yeah. them to loosen the ropes on the cannons, and we said, loose cannons, would they just... Okay. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. I can't think of anything. <laughs> um, you, uh, you see that they're stopping. They're slowing down. They're stopping. Hello there! You're so it's a sea turtle with a ship tethered to it. Yeah, and the sea turtle is now just like resting oh, in the so water. Oh, so it's pulling the ship along. Yeah. Like imagine like a chariot. Right. Um, the I ship thought they trying to wrangle it. Hooked up. They've kind of wrangled it already. And uh, as you come alongside, Ugh. you see the, the priests like stop what they were doing and like the, somebody brings them some tea and things like that. They look very and posh. It's very posh, yeah. It's They're very nice. They've got, they've got nice streamers coming off of everything. They're, you, you know from your experiences with the church, they're wealthy, they're litigious, and they're militaristic. All right? So, like... These guys look wealthy, litigious, and mi militaristic. Exactly. Militaristic. And, militaristic. Uh, and, and you know that, like, you know, they love codifying things. They love books. They love rules. But they also like to try and exploit and bend the rules where they can. So, like, uh, they, 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 they put on a front of being very official and doing everything, you know. But behind closed doors, naughty. They see, they, they, they're like, but they're, you can see they're very happy with themselves. They're like, oh, mm. hello there, gentlemen, please. It's not often we meet someone out in the deep like this. May we uh, exchange supplies perhaps? Sorry, uh, speak up a bit. It's still like a bit of a... Hey, Toto! Why are you whispering more now? Toto! <laughs> That's an aggression. Use you your ocean voice. I'm sensing aggression. Portal. Hello there, yes? This is your god. <laughs> what? What? Just kidding. There's only one god. Triangulus. Can... Oh, is that him? May we come and preach to you? Thank you. You don't, they don't even yeah. wait for a reply. Come aboard. They chuck a couple grapples out and God then they pull it. their boat closer. Uh, and they come aboard. They climb go. aboard. Don't sign right. up to anything. All right? Maybe, in. Maybe we should just come sign in. up to it and move Pleasure. on. Come in. Why'd you spit on that? We've right. not done a deal. Oh, uh, it's just, a, it's just the way I sh we shake hands in the, in the Church of Triangulus. Yeah. All right. Very well. <laughs> It's dribbling out. It's like a <laughs> pleasure. It's a really slippery one. Yeah. Oh, pleasure. Very. The pleasure is on my side. So good to see you. Very good to see you. Very good. All right. What's new in the triangulus? And they're like they like instantly trying to show you. They're like, look, look. What is it? It's a giant beast from the god himself. Uh, triangulus yeah. has gifted us. Look at this thing. Where's it's triangle shell. Irrefutable evidence. The mm. god of triangles himself gifted this to us. It is our property. How did you tame this beast? Well, that's just it. We're trying to. We wondered if you had any advice for us. Has it tried to kill you? Hmm? Has it tried to kill oh, you? Fuck, my leg's on fire. Um, <laughs> put a heater under the table. <laughs> my leg's on fire. <laughs> um, Shit. Shit. Put it out, homunculus. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um, and uh, what was the question, sorry? How did you tame this beast and has it tried to kill any of you yet? No. Yes. It's so big, its mouth is larger than this ship. We haven't and it has. Fuck. We found this animal whilst making a transit from one side of the Atlantic to here. We're on the way to the Gold Tooth Isle. We've come from uh, the, the ocean. <laughs> it's the other way. Well, that's the thing. We've kind of been going where the turtle takes us. We've worked right. out how to stop it diving. When we were... We should stop it where it is. Hmm? You managed to stop it there. It's oh, he's just parked. exhausted. Oh, right. he won't swim anymore. We, 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 we use spells to force him. We poke him oh, and make him do stuff. Okay. Um, but we, we, we were in port several months ago and we heard a story from some Castellar men, uh, monster hunters, 
They told us of um, a wizard uh, using a levitation spell to stop a gargantuan uh, from, uh, from from diving, from to lift them from the water. And we thought, well, if this sea turtle dives under the water, he's going to drag us down with us. So we've been maintaining a, a sort of greater levitation spell to keep the keep the, the the giant turtle from diving. It's exhausting, but between the three of us, and <laughs> we are quite mighty wizards, uh, we've managed to do it. What we haven't quite worked out how to do is convince the beast to go in any sort of direction that mm. we need. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, we are running out of food and water. We've been out here for some while. But we will not abandon this beast. It is a gift from the god itself. We don't Maybe need this beast. Maybe it's trying to you know, guide you towards yeah. the point or something like that. Oh, we are the guide, guides of the priests. We, 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 we guide the, the way of the mortals on this plane. So you follow some sort of god? We do triangulus, but he's in a different plane of existence. Oh, well, but this Upon this plane, beast. we priests are the guides of all living creatures. This know? is a perfect sign. It's, it's shaped like a triangle. You can just follow where it goes. It's going to be godlike. How do you know it's handed from the gods? Look at its shell. It's triangular. That, uh, it, yeah, I can't dispute you that. You cannot either. refute that. That's no. clearly, it means it's from the god triangulus for us. Hey. I think I might have something that you that, that would impress you. Is it water or limes? Unfortunately for you, not. But I'm very parched. Do you have anything to drink? <laughs> Give him a lime. I think if Triangulus wanted you to live, you'd be bestowed with a wealth of food and water. You'd allow that giant. Well, that's what creature. we thought you were. We thought Triangulus had sent us aid. Ah, maybe we're a oh, test. right. Maybe you are. Oh. What were you saying, Tortle? Oh, Could yes. you speak to it? I'm pulling out. I, I've just got something very interesting. Yes. I pull out my boomerang. It's kind of like a... Uh, <laughs> oh! Look at that! A noble weapon! Yes, yes, I've oh, seen uh, these! Look oh, at the... Look I at wouldn't the, show them triangles. They think they own it. No, no, no. Uh, this oh, is, I'll be having that! No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you! No, 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 no. Oh, well. It, it was given to me. <laughs> oh, I say he's By who? Me. By Triangulus. What? He's, he's, tri why are you saying yeah, this to him? He, he came leaves. down to me and he said... Take this relic artifact of triangle shape and carry it with you for good luck. And mm. I was... That does sound like something he would say. He, yes. <laughs> and I had this vision of him. He was very triangulated. Yes. And then I was, thank you. So I t have to carry it with me. Yes. And if anyone takes it from me, it will be shown as a... Uh, that's, that's a, a diamond. diamond. That's a diamond. No! <laughs> <laughs> God, it must be easy. Yeah, to do. anyone that takes this from me will be disrespecting <laughs> Triangulus, he said. So he said, keep this with you, so I'm putting it away. Uh, I just thought you might uh, like to you see that. a deception? Yeah, or persuasion. No, you're lying. Persuade. <laughs> uh, ooh. That's an 18. Yeah, it succeeds. Plus, uh, Oh, yes, well, please keep it close, sir. It would have been plus six. What, what a vaunted artifact. You really have. Yeah. Marvellous, marvellous. Do any of those followers of Triangulus here? Oh yeah, big, big <laughs> yeah. fan. What's Love your favourite triangle? Oh. It's the isosceles. What's your favourite naturally occurring triangle? Just that sea turtle. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, it's volcanoes. good, isn't it? You're jealous. Yeah. Vol <laughs> volcanoes are pretty nice. Yeah, anyway, we've got to go. Volcanoes kind of... Cone-like. Cones, yeah. You ever Volt seen... Heretic! <laughs> no, no, no. What? He said volcanoes! He's joking. Not technically a triangle! It was a joke, it was a joke. Oh, come well, on. You, you say one more That's, wrong thing. Oh. You don't want us to inquisit, just it's very invasive. Of course. Have you um, ever seen a four-sided triangle? A full-size triangle? A four, no, a four-sided triangle. No. I had it in my premonition with uh, triangulus. Heresy! If it has three sides, there is not four. It, he showed me that there's... It's one, out there. two, three. Oh, five. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> There's five sides to a triangle. You seem very... I'm yes. very thirsty. We've been at sea oh, a very right. long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, How much yeah. time do you think you spent thinking about triangles? Please, you must help us. We must help get this blessed <laughs> beast under control. Well, you know help what us, please. Triangular says? Uh, with great generosity must come great generosity in return. That's what he says. Yes, 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 of course. Yeah. So, so we weird. will save your lives yes. by providing some water and food. Yeah. But in return, a gift must be bestowed upon Triangulus' yes. saviors. Yes. Mm. Okay, one second. Let me confer with my, my fellow Triangulus. Ask the turtle. 
They're whispering along. Yeah, yeah not even words. It's just words. Yeah, I think they're pretending. I can hear a lot of what they're saying. Well, they're like whispers. Like yeah, yeah. The whispers sound totally different to actual words. We should eat the dog. Yeah, they do, yeah. Should we eat the dog? They don't they don't eat, I think they want to eat you. Nah, they want to eat that. I've I, had that sort of thing. I'm going to draw a triangle on the floor with um, just prestigious. Well, no, um, yeah, prestigious. minor illusion. Whatever it is. Yeah, just a oh, lovely triangle. Look, <laughs> look at that. oh, that's lovely. Look at that. That's lovely. That's a triangle. That's lovely. Right, we've had a talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that look is, at that triangle. That they just love it. They just love it. I'm going to go in here. It's so easy to draw. Look at that triangle. That is lovely. Keeps them focused. There we go. So we've had we've had a chat. Yeah. Some things I can offer you. We have. A let's call it mystery cache Whoa. of items. It's the church's special equipment. This is something that we are sent out with uh, that helps us, uh, let's say, confront all possible realities of a dangerous voyage across the ocean mm. and indeed in, in adventures on land. This is full of very valuable things potions, weapons, armors, curios. This is something that we have not had to break into. We discovered the turtle month, several months ago now, and beyond food and water, we have no need for this cash. We will make land soon. We will get the turtle back to port, God willing, and we will uh, Sorry, be hail, heralded as great priests of our age. Food and water would, of course, be welcome. However, the true prize we seek from you is help with the turtle. You help in the right direction. bend this turtle to our will, and we will reward you with this cash. This mystery cash. Mm, this what loop. sort of mind bending abilities could we possibly have? I'm wondering how they feed the thing. Look how big it is. He probably just eats from the ocean. Picks right? up like algae on the roof. picks up bits. He yeah. grazes. That's enough. He it? grazes on jellyfish. Oh, nice. Just, just scoops them up as they go. <laughs> Swimming okay, along. Well, what if? Uh, Dire jellyfish are its favourite. <laughs> what if we um, make the giant creature eat them, and then we take the giant creature and wander away to the horn? Then we might have problems in the future with the rest of the church. This is the problem. You see, the it seems like they're on a sacred oh, mission. I don't right? think that we're bigger than the church. Why? <laughs> oh wow. Oh, uh, the ball's on this guy. <laughs> He's clearly never met anyone from the Three Pointer Star. No, yeah. Well, We're going to get uh, absolutely railed by all sorts of triangle implements if we do not yeah. do what they say. Like what, the if we we just, drew, what if we just, we just hold As you chat, you're chatting, you hear the, the turtle raise up. its head and make a mournful cry. Oh. And it kind of rattles the ship as you see one of the guards with a very long pike just stab it and tell oh. it to shut up. Oh! That's, is that the method? Is that what you do to... Get Yeah, I mean... They Get out, you stupid bloody... That's how you've told! How have you stopped it from eating you? Sorry, I'm using the triangle on my hands just to make you see the triangle. Oh, that's lovely. So you can see it all the time. That's lovely. It's nice, isn't <laughs> that's it? It's really nice. Triangle, put, put your triangles on. Um, nice one. You don't have hands, so it kind of just... Heretic! <laughs> Heretic yeah. no, two triangles, look. It's two triangles and a, no, I can see and it. two flippers <laughs> that are just... That's the four-sided of... triangle I was talking about. Two triangles don't make a right. <laughs> Okay, um, angle. <laughs> no, uh, street uh, humor. Listen, uh, first to help you, I guess we need to know how you have managed to tame such a creature so far. It looks like you've just beaten it to submission. Yes. How have you done that? <laughs> because it's large, it's very large, you're using magic to levitate it up and then put prodding it. Where did you prod it in the back of the head? Back of the legs. That Arse, seems, tail. and it just kind of just stays there. It's a very docile and loving creature that we have. Uh, bullied and lashed into our, into our service. Um, let me get this right, you just want to be able to control it and tell it where to go and all this kind of stuff. We want to bring it under our thrall so we can bring right. it back into port, okay. harvest its meat and use its shell as a new church. And we'll get... Oh, right, okay. And what will we get in return? You want to kill the mystery the cache of weapons and oh, stuff. brilliant. Okay, can we just confer for a second, please? Oh, wait, 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 wait. She wants to kill what, the beast. What, right. She wants to eat. Okay, I'm very good at... Um, Charming, persuading, that kind of stuff, right? We've learned that. Yeah. Titus is very good at talking to animals sometimes. I can yeah? talk to so animals. You might be very brief. Sword is very good at... Yeah, go on. Sword's yeah. here as well. Yeah, I'm here. So... Your hair's growing right now. How about this? Yeah. How about this? This is a good bob. I'll what about, change what about this? Thing. What they're doing to him may not be right in terms of, you know, like, oh, we should probably let the turtle go or whatever. But what if you manage to convince him between us 
we managed to convince the turtle to take them away enough that they think that they're in control of the turtle so that they give us all the weapons. Then when they're out of sight, the turtle just takes them under the sea and drowns their ship. Like we could tell the turtle to do that. He'll be free of them. They'll think that they've had control. We'll have nothing to do. To do. It's very hard for me to describe this because I'm very excited right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see <laughs> yeah. your leg is shaking. Yeah, I know. I need to talk to the animals. Like Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, you convinced Whoever the sea turtle. So you convinced the sea turtle to, the to do what they want it to do for long enough for us to get paid. To out Once we get out of sight, the turtle can then, if he wants to be free, which he probably wants insta to be dive. free, just tell him to insta dive down before he can them. levitate. Do you want to go talk to it? Do you talk oh, to I'll it? I'll jump off the ship and talk to it. Is that what you want? Yeah, and we'll talk to the, the yeah. priests and tell them what you're doing. <laughs> so I'm you're persuading convincing. it to take it for just a bit further out, just, then take a dive. No, you, you're, persu Third round. you're persuading it dive. to obey their instructions. Whatever they want to do, just for long enough for us to get paid and be out of sight. Okay. So that they think, oh yeah, well, we, we've helped them, you know? You guys have helped us, so here's your stuff. They, they, we go off, go to the horn. They then get drowned. Right. Because they've been cruel oh, to this I mean, turtle. Yeah, of course. Well, I'll see what their temperament is like with the turtle. And, I mean, it seems quite calm. Yeah, and also, if you can convince him, come find us and help us in the horn, whatever it is. Yeah. We, we, we might as well try. Right. You, well, the, you want the... It could be a mate. We can get well, the turtle, see, mate. Yeah. See what he's up to. If yeah. he wants to just hang out if with he's us. he's not busy. We've got, we got turrets. I have a feeling he might, might have a disdain for people in charge of it, but we'll see. Yeah. Turtles, it, we, 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 I can you have a chat with him. We'll have a chat with him. More of we won't be in charge of him. More of he can come and help us if he wants. Okay. Yeah. It's up to him. Very well. Anyway, you Hello. go in and we'll check. You didn't Hello. hear any of that, did you? I, I actually didn't hear any of that. No. So All right. in like Perfect. In both Brilliant. figurative and lit I was doing something. So right. anything you feel like I need to know, please explain what you're thinking of doing. You don't no. need to know you nothing. Need to know then. Our fellow Triton here is going to go into the water as he's very. Oh, yeah. All right. Very, oh, yeah. uh, oh shit. Very astute. Triangles up. Is that word? Triangles up. I put my triangles yeah. down for a second, I almost forgot. Also, he's from the sea where yep. sea turtles come from. Oh, so cool. he's yeah, going to have yeah, a bit yeah. of a dialogue. And you're going to convince it to come back and die with us? Yeah. To he's going to convince die it. With it. Well, to... tell him that bit. Okay. He yeah, no, not... maybe leave that out. He's if just if it understands it... what that means, it might not like that. Mm. He's going to try and convince it to just, you know, obey bend you. to your whim. Like you want. Very good. And uh, yeah, that's what would. Off you go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go and Bye. I'm jumping off the side now. Oh, there we go. See you in a second. I so guess. You, you may as well start getting the cash now. Honestly, it won't be take too long. The mm. cash. Um, well, let's see what happens first, shall sure. we? Yeah. I mean, yeah. But I will say this looks positive, and um, I'll, I'll send a message back. And he like just touches his temple. One of my aides will start preparing the cash for you. Gentlemen, do you have anything to drink? I am very thirsty. Absolutely. Fucking hell. Oh, First can't... mate, oh, just... handsome Andy. Hello, yeah, right. You he know that breakfast you sat across? He, he wheels out a trolley with the porcelain just there jingling. There you go, we've got a variety of options here. Anything from the trolley? There you go, take what you want. Do you like anything from the and trolley? They, and they fall upon the trolley. Like, they try to remain calm, but he's like got like a couple of little cakes <coughs> and, and like yeah. other dried things. Help himself. And uh, he's got... He takes a big flagon of water and just drinks the whole jugs. Oh, yeah, thank you, down. you don't know how long We've been at sea, and you can see like one of the guards that's come over with the, the, the little cadre of wizards is like looking longingly at it, but like uh, the, the, they just ignore their guard. You know, they're just like, ah, oh, he go on you as well. They're right dicks. Oh, the, you say to the guard, no, 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 he's fine. Okay, go on. Please, then. and then the guard us. sort of just goes, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, and starts drinking. God, stuff. I told you the right pricks. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And the guard's yeah, actually got like quite too. a lot of like <laughs> scabbing. He's got quite dry mouth. You can tell yeah. that he's been suffering more than the, oh, the, the wizards have. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what is it you're planning on? He says like over like cake. Hey. Mm. So what is it you're planning on? You know, you're naturally doing? occurring triangles. Mm. Mm. We're on a voyage ourselves. Oh. For the ultimate triangle. The horn. Oh, which is I guess obviously it is. Sort a triangular of triangle, shape. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of, yeah. So we're going to the horn and hopefully going to destroy a beast. Oh, yeah, that's going And off. claim the fame. Oh, we, we first thought that we may have inadvertently come to the horn when we uh, bumped into this monstrosity, but instead, Triangulus himself gifted us this beast to do with as we wish. Amazing. But we cannot bring the bastard under our throne. Wow. 
until now. Until now. Until now. What is it you're going to do? You haven't explained yet. <laughs> well, funny story. Yes. You know, you're speaking to some people back on the coast. Oh, yes, the Castilians. The Castilians, and they said about a certain wizard yes. that levitated, levitated a, a beast. A, a kraken or something. Oh, guess who just jumped in the ocean? The very same wizard. No. Yeah. yeah. No. You yeah. are lucky as no. shit. Yeah. No. That is yeah. us. Oh. I shit you not. Yeah. Oh. Triangulus has bestowed upon you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fucking chances? What are the chances out here in the wide, wide ocean? It's got to be a blessing. Isn't it? It's got to be a blessing. It is. There's almost a hundred percent chance, actually. Yes. Yes. Considering the amount of figurative ra railroading going on. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? What's he saying? I have no idea. There's no railroad. Do you have a seat or anything anywhere? You mean, mind about, so so you on the ship with you is three wizards. This is the one you talk. The main one is the one you're talking to. He has two behind him. Wizards. And one guard who's just like got a simple like breastplate on and a spear, and um, just sort of bored, stood around looking around your ship. Quite interesting. This is a wonderful ship you've got. Not quite. The tra same trails and, and, and flags and heraldry as one of ours, but I'll tell you what, design wise, it's fascinating. The conversation is going to take like five minutes or so. How, uh, how about, you mm. know, just for fun, mm. just a bit of fun, mm. um, mm. we'll take you, or oh, Dr. Feelgood, mm. is our little servant, we'll give you a little guided tour of oh. the place. Yeah, he's, he's going to take us around. Or you can just have a rest on your ship, and we'll take your guards and just give them a little guide around our ship. Ah, oh, we've got here now, I wouldn't mind having a look round. All right. Or well, head on down, you know, where the more wealthy part is. Okay, okay. Like captain's um, quarters and all that. Glass bottom. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, I look, I have a look at that one. Have a look at that. Nice, okay. I'm gonna try, basically, I'm just trying to distance him from the guards. Okay, yeah, so they go down. The guard stays the, up on deck. The oh, the guard will stay up here to, for our security. Cool, yeah, yeah. Uh, whilst myself and the two fellows will come down. Come on, let's have a look. I'm gonna point the triangle. Lead the way, homunculus. Off we go. Fascinating, sir. Have a great time. Okay, wizards. wizard folk. You need to watch your heads when you're down here. This is a live working environment. We've got a lot of cannons, <laughs> automatons, and such things. You really need to take care of yourselves. Yeah. He's like doing the full like theme park tour ride kind of like brief. Um, All right, God. What are you doing at this point? I'm swimming towards its head. Okay. Well, I'm underneath this, the ocean. Approaching its head. It's 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 sort of sadly hanging there, like. It's like it's it's flippers. Its fins are kind of down. And it, you can tell it's tired, very, very tired. It's looking quite emaciated under the water. Um, you approach the head. What do you do? You look sad. No, I'm going to touch it first. I need to touch it. <laughs> I'm going to use <laughs> tongues to talk to it. You can talk, oh, what, because you wanted to talk back? Well, yes. I okay. to, well, basically, yeah, tongues will mean it across the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears for an hour moreover when the target speaks any creature that knows at least one language which I do yep so you'll be able to understand it back we'll be able to understand it so we can talk this okay. is my talking thing I just oh, need to touch it oh hello little fish I'm not a fish large oh, one you talk do you know who has commandeered you no do you understand the word commandeered no there are several creatures attached to your back who I have noticed. hooked their ship onto you yes, and are using you. And prod me too. Yes, and they're using you for travel. They keep me afloat. They stop me from diving. Do you like this? I do not. I can change this for you, mate. We can make things good again. You would help me? Yeah, I can help you. I would be grateful. Um. How do you feel about diving deep and drowning the people that are on your back? I would enjoy that very much. What's, do you think there's magic that's, I assume it's magic that's stopping you from doing such They've a thing. They've been so stopping to, me from diving, some right, form of right. spell. And you can't like snap at them with your giant snappy mouth? I try to turn, but they are too fast. They move behind me. They do. I do turn, they? their ship turns as I turn. I am okay. rather immobile. I am not the most agile of creatures. Do you know where you're traveling? Are you traveling anywhere specific? I am trying to escape. You're just, so you're just ambling around. They're just following you. They're attached They don't know to where me. you're going. I think they think they're going to the gold tooth They try to tell me to go certain ways, but I ignore them. But I'm growing tired and right. feel I will one day succumb to their will. And I'll uh, let you in on a little secret. Yes. 
So do you know what killing is? Because they want to do that to you when they get back to the Gold Tooth Isles. And then they're going to use your giant shell, which is the thing on your back, if you didn't know. Oh. I feel like you are, you didn't get educated anywhere, you have no mm. education of any kind. <laughs> So that giant thing that's hard on your back, yeah. they're going to live inside it and use it as a church. But I live inside that. No, you do right now, yes. Do you want those things to happen to you? Doesn't sound like it. Doesn't good. sound good, does it? Because then you don't, you won't live. You won't be able to eat things. <laughs> you won't be able to enjoy life. I like jellyfish. You like jellyfish. Right, well, after, I'll make a note of that. We'll try and get more. You speak to you. jellyfish too? Sorry? You speak to jellyfish? No, no, I eat them actually. I you eat them as well. Too? Yeah, I can eat them. Don't yeah. blame me, as long as they don't sting me, because that fucking oh, oh, rash, that. annoying little rash. <laughs> do you, do you get rashes from those? No. No, you've got quite a snappy little beak. That's snap massive them off actually. before they get me. Sorry? Snap the top off before they get me. That's fair enough. I'm sure you eat the whole thing without even realising it. No, it's I just spit out the little... Oh, you've, the stingy you're very bits. particular about the bits. Okay. Stingy bits. That's fair enough. I don't want to eat those, they give you the shits. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I'm not, yeah, I don't eat the stingers either. Anyway, um... So, our plan right. is for you, we're going to try and stop this levitation stuff, mm. we'll get, catch them off guard, and then I want you to pull their ship like really deep until they stop breathing and die. Are you alright with that? Yeah. Cool, well let's, I mean, I'll try and keep her in touch with you, yes. but we're going to help you. We don't want to kill you. In fact, if anything, you might be able to help us in the long run. Oh. Do you know where the horn is? Hmm. Have you heard of the horn? Has the horn been mentioned? Not, 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 In a tongue that you might understand? The meeting place. The, the, the currents. The meeting currents? Sure, yes, yes, I believe that's, yes. Yes, there are many, many like me there. Oh, really? You came from there? Well, let's take mm. you home then, buddy. Drown them and we'll go with you. It's a very tedious conversation, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I know. Turtles are rather slow. You weren't educated. No, no. And that's very difficult for me. Official and I'm very impatient because of this. But I'm not going to hurt you. Look, I'm not touching. I'm not hurting you. You're a good wizard, are you? Well, have, have I prodded you with anything? No. Not yet. Well, I'm not going to. There's still time. You're massive. It seems actually really foolish to mess with you. Mm. But you're really it, kind of stupid and don't, don't seem to care. Very peaceful. That's, that's fine. It's good for me. Anyway, look, drown them. Okay. <laughs> okay? Right, I'm going to go back to the surface now. Speak Thank to the other guys. You. That's the message. Bye. Drown those guys. Damn. We'll try and stop the levitating thing. Okay. Right, see you later. I'm going to have to touch you again. Bye. Bloody hell. I'm going to swim you back surface. to the surface. You swim back up to the edge of the boat. Oh, it's it's a brick right. wall, man. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Stupid creatures. All so, of them are really stupid. Let me up! <laughs> Oh, of course that's stupid. <laughs> They're animals. It's a miracle you I'm can speak to them. I'm trying to explain very co basic concepts to these animals all the time. I don't like this. I need, a, I need a break. I need a holiday. You need a holiday. How about a lovely Caribbean cruise? Oh, we've got a nice mushroom island while we're at it as well. <laughs> oh look, my dead ancestors oh, brought back to life. Are, okay. It's reminding me of terrible things. Oh, so much trauma. All right, hoist me up. Come on. So we're, at the same time we're speaking to the guard. Mm -hmm who's been separated from the wizards. Mm -hmm. We're like, mate, how much do you buy into this triangular stuff? Oh, not that much. Nah, we, uh, me and a lot of the crew, we were just hired on at the nearest port. Right. Uh, they, they just, you know, they pay really well. Um, got good, you know, not too bad benefits. Um, yeah, but no, nah, we're, um, we just, we just, it's just a job. But you That's know, job. I mean, our reputation does rely on us doing a good job. What? All right, just wondering. You don't go in for it much as well, I felt, I can tell. Nah. No. It's all a load of old bollocks, really, to me. I mean, I thought that, but then I saw this this turtle, and I mean, honestly, look at him. He's mad. Coincidence. Come on. What's that mean? Coincidence. What's it mean? Something that looks like it's, you know, because of something else, but really it's just a matter of the two things lining up at the same time. Oh. I should remember all. that one. That's a good word. Uh, but yeah. Please! Oh, uh, I'm at the believer. bottom, just Here singing. Comes, true believer. Ah! Oh, can you hear that? I'm doing oh, the oh. symbol, just let me out. I'll you always, hoist him up. That yeah, sounds like hoist him up. You let him do that, fucker. Tyus, how'd it go, mate? Grab onto this. All good, good. <laughs> Tyus, once you get back up the rope, off the deck. Have you solidified <laughs> the plan? <laughs> the, 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 you see the other wizards are below deck at the moment having a tour. You, you hear underneath the deck, you hear the homunculus shouting. 
Okay, now, watch out now. You're gonna come into a room here which looks like it's got no floor, but it's just glass. It's a dark glass floor. Uh, they gonna love that bit. Do that, yeah. God, that's nice. Stay you back on deck. Have you back unleashed on the plan upon the sea creature? Yeah, no, I suppose it It really loves you guys uh, and your crew. Um, and it wants to respect everything you say and do to it. No, 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 it's all right. The guards just oh, right. don't give a shit. They don't give um, a shit, okay. Well, no, yeah, no, I told it what you wanted to tell it. Yeah, let's not say it so out loud, you, though. Don't, but, say, yeah. don't say it. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I was just telling it it should respect the people that are in charge of it. Yeah, it's going to be it. obedient yeah. and. It's going, to be, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be obedient do. and follow all its commands. It's going to follow the commands. It's going to be yeah. obedient and it's going to be bloody good for you guys. Perfect. That's exactly what you told it, right? It's going to be exactly. Brilliant. Then we Just don't need to do anything to, else. There's a few things we need to do. What do, we need what do you mean? Do? The levitating thing. We should kind of nip that in the bud. How are we going to stop that? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought very far ahead. Well, you, told very, it, it you told it. You told it to pretend to... Look, I told it to do some stuff. What did you tell it to do? I told it to dive under and kill them. You all. just told it to dive without no, pretending no. for a bit. Well, I kind of just said it should keep going and just down, go down. Oh fuck! So we don't have much time. We should, but then it's not going to be able to go anywhere until we step, stop that levitation stuff. No. Yeah, uh, how do we stop uh, them levitating? <laughs> you know, this levitating thing's great. <laughs> I can't oh, believe they did it, it's so yeah. big. Bloody yeah, yeah, hell. Yeah, like, they're, they're very they must powerful. be exhausted, they must want to break. They are, from... they work in shift. They've got That's some sort of magic light on my thing which allows them to uh, maintain the spell. item you say, it's a specific thing that we can Perhaps. see. Oh, I'd love to see what that is. I'm just, I'm a wizard. I've I think practiced. they've got it on them. Yeah, which one? The main one. What's a main one? There's the main how many wizard. are there? The three, five? There's three wizards. Three wizards. And mm. one of them's on the ship with us? Hmm? Where are they? Where are these wizards? I'm sorry, I've... Sorry, well, so four skew. What? Excuse you. The Fortescue. Excuse you again, sorry. <laughs> He's the main one. Fortescue? The Fortescue. preamble Fortescue. No, very well. And the next one? What, High Priest Lucerne? Sure, yeah, yeah. Lives yeah. of High Priest, are you writing these down? Oh, yeah. High Priest That's Lucerne. High, High Priest Lucerne, yes. Yeah. Go on, and then the last one? Inquisitor Quang. All right, Quang, right. Quang. Let's go and see. Let's go to their ship and see what's going on. Oh yeah, it'd be great to see your your guys' ship. Yeah, it looks they, beautiful. They're getting a tour. Why don't we get yeah, a tour? We you can guard us. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you you seem very persuasion strong. You persuade them. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello. Uh, uh, yeah, I've just just I've just pulled it oh, up. I'll just step uh, in. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, can we uh, go around your ship? <laughs> so fourteen plus what? Nothing else. Uh, persuasion five. Holy shit. Nineteen. Yeah. Titus persuades him enough. Oh, okay. Because I rolled an 11 plus 12. <laughs> Kafifa got involved 12. and they just dribbled and let him on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're lovely. Come on board. Here's my gun. Board. Here's my gun. And... <laughs> um, oh, okay, thank you, yeah, sir. Um, you could go on. Uh, yeah, I guess that wouldn't be a problem. Um, well, this guy seems busy. Why don't you just take a Gentlemen. Time? Oh. Gentlemen. He says. Um, oh, they're not going to respond. Let's just go. Let's get oh, on there. Boring. Just don't yeah. even worry about those. Yes. We've got time. Yes. I'm just going to take him over to the ship, all right? Is it okay? Yes, that's fine, I guess. Uh, keep an eye on them, you hear? Ah. Oh, wow, look at that. Worst case scenario. Who's this boy in a cage? <laughs> <laughs> Worst oh, case scenario, I guess we all Kevin. have a ship, so. <laughs> yeah. you know. Fantastic. Oh, all right. You keep him in this whole time. Hello, yeah, you can hear Kevin just going like, you going to let me out? No. <laughs> he lies a lot. He lies no, a lot, no, doesn't no, he? No, no, we won't be letting you out. Um, Okay, so this guard, let's call him Gavin, takes you over Gavin to the um, takes you over to the ship. Yeah, well, you know, it's one of a meal. Um, just, Love the streamers. Uh, a ship, lovely uh, church ship. They like yeah. them simple but ornate. Nice wood. Um, yeah, you got a hold underneath. So it's basically a, just, it's just a top deck and a deck beneath that. There's no um, mm. gun deck on this. Mm. Uh, mm. Doesn't have cannons. It's uh, fitted out to be a much more luxurious traveler. They've got large storerooms and some secure storage down below. Nice. Um, and like I say, just a small crew who are like just doing shit like tightening ropes, checking things, swabbing the deck. But by and large, this seems to be like almost like a pleasure cruise for these uh, three. Luxury. Um, they were making a crossing, um, but they uh, counted this. Oh. Nice, now they're on it, what the hell are we doing? We need to find the wizard and we need to find their item. The wizards are on our boat. All of them? Yeah. We need to find the item. Probably on them. <laughs> we doing the on this? Surely they'd be concentrating because it requires a lot of concentration. What? I imagine to levitate the levitation, such a large yeah. beast. 
The levitation is, it's not really currently active. Like, if it tries to swim down, um, it, it would probably sort of like cause a stir. It wouldn't like just dive and instantly sink the ship. It would cause the ship to start bucking around and then the, the wizards will try and re-establish the levitation spell. But right now, the, 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 the giant turtle is pretty exhausted. It's been thrashing about, running around the sea for some time. So at the moment, it's not really doing much. Either that or we need some jellyfish. What? What? Why? Why? He eats jellyfish. Refuel, you know? Recharge, take the stingers off. Will that give him the Apparently strength that gives him to... The shit. Go on. Will that give him the strength I to... I think it will, yeah, die. so he's he's pretty tired. Right. Didn't have much to say. Most of these beasts don't. Didn't have really <laughs> much of a life going on. He's, he's annoyed. The, the only guy that can speak to is like, it's not worth it, honestly. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, you could, if you could speak to him, you wouldn't want it, mm. basically. But yeah, he eats a lot of jellyfish, which is pretty cool. I don't know if we can summon jellyfish randomly. It seems <laughs> like something that we can't really get hold of. That sounds insane. And he is a bit annoyed at these guys, but he doesn't know where he's going. I don't think he's taking them to where they think they're going. So do you think this plan of that we come up with is going to work or...? Not really. But I think it might drown <laughs> their ship eventually. Eventually. When it gets enough strength. With jellyfish. And the item that they're keeping it up with, yes. So we need to sabotage it. We need to, it. Sabotage we need to, it or we need to kill three wizards, which sounds like a really hard thing to do. Yeah. Mm. Because the wizards. thing is, if we then kill them, because the idea of us staying, we'll, we'll keep it down. We're on their ship. If we <laughs> this is all delete, d- remove their prowess and power. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah. We, we want to. We no, 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 no. We want to keep this. Uh, you know. Uh, how should I say this? Civil, because we want to get the cash from. The, if we're going to kill them, it's be a tragic accident. If we want to kill course, them, then we may as well just take the stuff. Loot everything. I mean, that's just. Yeah. That's logic, isn't it? But that's true. That will require a lot of energy from our part. We need to kind of do this stealthily. I think we could probably convince this turtle to take us to the horn. All right. Well, well we, we, do need to mind, get we need to get rid of these guys. And the first tactic I said was to just dive deep. Yeah, we can't. I can always talk to it again. It's only been a few minutes. How long have you got? An hour? I have an hour of. Yes, I have an well, hour to talk you've to. You got what? Fifty-seven minutes left. Yeah, but I guess I could press him again at least two. What we time. need to do, right, is convince. The wizards that everything's fine, that the turtle will obey every single command, so they don't even need levitate anymore. Oh yes. As surprise. you're talking, you see the wizards are coming back up onto the right. deck. Oh, so yeah, well, just well. go talk to them. Say, um, just pretend to obey their commands. Oh yeah, yeah. Until they're out of sight of us, and then when the coast is clear and you've got enough energy, oh. dive. But we'll have to. Con- then we'll just convince them to yeah, break can, the levitation yeah, spell. Yeah, just pr- persuade them that we've. Yeah, I'll, we've I'll, I'll do that to. if you convince the turtle to do it. Just, um, well, so just go back and tell him right, that, tell him, tell him that, that they're going to release the levitation release spell. spell. When they do that, they do obey that. their obey command. Their command. <laughs> this is really going in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obey their command yeah. until we're out of sight, because okay. we'd have been paid. Right. Then, That's all the permission then I need. Dive, I'm going. <laughs> I'll drown. I'm jumping off. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think he's and got I'll it. handle the wizard. I think he's got it. Yeah. Hello! What did you see down there? Lovely ship you got here. Oh, thank you. I Likewise, love the shape, wonderful. Of, I love the shape of the here? sails you've gone for. <laughs> who, who are you talking to? Whoever that is. Wizards have come across. Huh? Back the on captain. Board. That's come up, look, we're now. No, talk. so so you're on you're on their ship. Yeah. And you're still on the deck. You're but alongside shouting, each other. They? They're coming up. You know, ten meters away. They're coming up from like your yes, gun deck. So we're just shouting. They're walk- yeah, you are shouting across. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking. Great about ship. That. Great ship here. What do you think of our one? Oh, it's wonderful. So, so many interesting innovations. It's yeah. a bit cramped. Not quite as comfortable as we might like. Quick though. It's a quick ship. Oh, it looks it. But we love the space. The, oh, what you've done with the space on this ship is oh, very, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's very spacious. Yeah. Oh, I love, love the it. shape of the uh, sails. You've gone for the three pointed. The triangles. Yeah, yeah triangle. Yeah. That is it. It's, yeah, just, yeah. it's a motif we've tried to carry through. I noticed everything. The, your wheel, triangle, triangle. It's, wheel. It's, it's, no one ever thinks of it. No, obvious. Circle in the middle. Uh, yeah. One, we couldn't make it a proper triangle in the middle, but. Anyway, have you, we'll come back, but have you had an, enough to eat and drink and everything? Yes, we're quite sated. Thank you so much for your generosity. May the mm. triangle bless you. Now our Triton wizard, thank you for the blessing. I'm down Appreciate here. It. He's just having a final word to make sure the sea creature is completely under your control. Ah, very no good. magic or, you know, stress necessary. It will just Brilliant. obey your just, just, just It basically sounded like he already fed, he spoke to him once, he came back and he's gone back again. Mm. Yeah. He basically mm. said, the turtle says, he's trying to obey you, mm. but um, the, some, you've put some sort of spell on him to keep him up 
or something. He's like, well, uh, the that, greater levitation spell. Yeah, he says with that spell, he can't like uh, he he can't control himself very well. Oh yes, but we had to do that because he kept on trying to dive, and and it makes the ship awfully dangerous. He just said he wasn't he didn't understand what you were trying to do, but now he does. So you've told him we're going back, we're going to the gold tooth isle. Yes, yeah, and he's. He's, we're going to ensure he will not dive again, just swim on the surface. You truly are miracle workers. He had no idea that's what you wanted to do. He doesn't speak like in whatever language we are. That's the thing. Well, <laughs> you, you get to test it out, right? When the, when the Triton comes back, mm. give it a few commands and see if it's working for you. Okay, yes, we'll do that. Where is the Triton? What, does, what are you saying? He's just turtle. Turtle. I'm going to just chat to the, the beast. <laughs> oh, hello again. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> how's it going? You all right? Not much Anything? better than I was a few moments ago. Oh, nothing's changed. I'm tired. What's your name, buddy? My name. Do you have a name? No, not really. Warm. 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 Your leg on fire. Yes, yeah. that will do. <laughs> warm. Okay, warm. Guess what? Things have changed slightly. Uh, I know you're exhausted. Guess. No, sorry. Guess what? <laughs> you're going to set me free. Do you know what? That yes. is true. Yes. And it won't happen straight away because oh. we need we need to work together here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to convince those mean old wizards at the back there that have been causing you strife and jabbing you in the ass mm. um, and the legs and anywhere else. My tail. Guess. And your tail. Bloody oh. hell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's causing you. Are you okay? I just thought about it. Oh. It's pain is shit, isn't it? Mm. It's not good. <laughs> it's anyway, bad. where was I? What we'll do yes. is we're going to make sure those wizards stop levitating you, but you need to promise to stay on the surface for a period of time until we're out of sight. Once we're out of sight, you have every opportunity to dive, but as fast as you possibly can. You need to do it really quick because they need the opportunity to not stop you. They, but how they will try and stop you very They'll quickly. just levitate me again. They certainly will try. How are you? But we're going to find a way to stop them. You I haven't think. thought about that, have you? I have not thought about that fully, but are we making them dive again? Are we making them dive again? I can't remember. <laughs> We're not there. We're not there. <laughs> You've taken all the Shit, information I we've given. Why don't you go and talk to your land I can't keep going again. back and forth. This is <laughs> so it. close. So just keep swimming further away. Yes. And then just, I don't know, fucking shit on them and then dive really quickly. <laughs> I've tried that. <laughs> Look, okay, well, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm going back to the surface really quickly. <laughs> hey guys! Here he is Hi, now. Tyus. Ready to go, right? The plan. So the plan. Hang on. Well, the, we'll, the, we'll, we'll pull you up. We'll pull you up. So you oh, have to shout. <laughs> Just pull me. I can't keep pulling myself. Oh, up. So, a sword. Grab onto oh, this as well. I've got it. Yeah. Oh, Running okay, out of time. It's yes. all right. We can say that in front of the, these guys. There's no. There's no <laughs> secrets here. Oh, okay. Remember, oh, I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't dive. Remember. Do you want it to dive? Yeah, or the, the, the not. Do you want not... to dive or not? So the one thing I'm more worried about. Of course, he's not going to dive. Of course, he wouldn't make him dive. So that's the key thing here, but also they've got to obey every, every command, command. Okay, yeah, and yeah, make yeah, it yeah, very yeah, yeah. much seem like they are obeying every command. Right. That's fine. Until we're Until else. a point. And then, then what? Then what should you do? That's what he's confused. He's... But you do want to do that. You do yes. want to do that. Every command otherwise... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going jump off the ship now. <laughs> Oh, he's up again, is he? He's still in relay. Awfully active. <laughs> I imagine it's quite difficult to get the bloody thing to take any commands. It's taking us long enough. It's a very simple Warp. creature. He's Warp! Still, he shouldn't Warp. tell us. Warp! Warp! All oh, right, okay, so the plan is very similar to what I just said to you. <laughs> you need to obey their every command. So we're out of sight, they need to do a really, really quick dive, and somehow we're going to make the wizards stop doing what they're doing. That's all I need to tell you. Oops, You're a lovely I'm... person, we'll see you in a minute. How will I tell? I'm going. What? How will I tell when to dive? When we're out of sight, when we are out of sight. You look at our ship now. Can you but see it? How will I know the levitation spell has stopped? Well, you'll be able to go down then. That's a good point. <laughs> All right. That's precisely it. You won't, you, I'll you, just you, wait you'll feel less of a resistance on your body. I know. Oh, edu- again, you weren't educated. Who, why were you not educated? What type <laughs> of turtle are you? This is a poor selection of schools where I'm from. That's fair enough. Not enough. No, that's fair enough. Terrible schooling in this area. Austerity has just meant that there's just it not really enough is. giant yeah. turtle teachers. Of course. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back up to the surface again. Well, it's been Those really are very good simple rules. To Sorry? Well, I, I, it's nice to be able to talk. Oh, it's, it is nice, actually. Well, we've got a little bit of time if you want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> What's been eating you, mate? What's going on? Oh, I've been eating jellyfish. Yeah, well, without the stingers, of course. 
or you've been taking the stingers and it's giving you the shit. Sometimes I don't have the time and that's what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and find a nice area with jellyfish later on, once we save your ass and you save our ass. I hear the, 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 the waters around the horn are very rich with food. Well, we'll sort you out with some horn water. Let's oh. just call that there. My name is Titus, I'll see you later. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> the surface. Hoist me up, you fuckers! Hey, Titus, grab this. Here he is, here he is, here he is. So, <laughs> so, what, so just clarify, what is the plan now? Well, I just did what you told me to do just then, but we, the, the, he will not resist against such powerful wizards. Mm. He there said you he's going to do everything there you're going to say. He will do what you say. Going to now obey every command. So you guys can really relax. Happy. You guys look tired as fuck. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot to maintain. No more levitating spells. for you. No more levitating. No need. No? It's yeah. been convinced, right? No, you don't need to levitate. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. spoken to him. He said he's actually absolutely fine. He, if anything, he wants to help you. Deception rolls from all three of you. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, I've got 12. Quite low. Oh, I just got a natural 20. Really? <laughs> <laughs> minus 2. Minus 18. Minus, <laughs> minus 15, 15 <laughs> plus 6, so 21. Okay, yes. Brilliant. I cannot wait for an easy cruise back to port. You could just fall asleep. Uh, of you course, I'll need some proof that this works. I can't simply hand over oh, your nice. reward without like said, Feel free to shout a big old command at it. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, lower a small rowboat. We'll put the chest and cache of items in there. We'll make way. And as soon as we're happy that everything's good, we'll cut off the rowboat and leave it to drift and you can come by and collect it. Why do you not just give it to us once you know that he's... Well, because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Give it a test. Give it a test now. Doesn't mean Ask it to there. move. Yeah, ask it to do something. It'll, it'll well, do what you say. Should we ungrapple ourselves first? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah ungrapple. Let's do that, you yeah. have to stop the levitation thing so we can move and then just see if he obeys you. So, crew, prepare for movement. Mm, do you wish to stay aboard or are you going back to your oh, ship? We'll, we'll, hop we'll have a little hop up. We'll watch from the sidelines. Well, Triangulus be with you, friends. Triangulus oh. is always with us. <laughs> what a fortuitous meeting this has been. I think it was Triangulus himself. Triangulus brought us together. Three points. To the point. Three. He's really to the point, isn't one, he? <laughs> at least one of the points. Oh. There are three of them. Triangles yeah. are us. That's the thing about a triangle. Turn it in. It's you never know which way you need way to have it. Us. It's Mental. easy to just do it like this. I like it slightly on the angle that just that's really annoying. Represents the many paths we as human beings take. Well, maybe not you, Tortle. Now it's just triangle on the side <laughs> a little bit. Bye. Yeah, oh, Toodaloo. Bye, we're going to go Enjoy your nice new obedient creature. Ah, right, okay, right, um, get ready, crew. Time to engage the giant turtle engine. Boards! It's... Mm, it starts to move. Have they stopped the spell? It starts to flap its great wings. Nice job, Womp! When it drags the craft forward as it begins to move. See? You're doing great, Wong! Try, try left and right, he'll do it. Left! Does not go left. Don't what? Do. Right! And it does turn right. Huh. He can only turn right, apparently. <laughs> oh. Board! It goes forward again. Board! It continues to go forward. Nice, it works! See? Nice it one, seems dude. to be working, he yells as He's they're like kind of like barreling around the sea around you, just like testing out this Great, giant hey? thing. He told me his left flipper was a little wounded. Maybe that's why he didn't go left. Little woundy. Woundy. Keep him nice and fed on jellyfish. Jellyfish oh, is a big winner. He loves jellyfish. Ah, okay. Safe travels. Well, this seems to be working. Well, we need payment. Have a lovely safe travel. Just uh, he said he loves the triangle too, which is strange because I don't think you've spoken to him. Anyway, <laughs> uh, safe journey. We'll be taking that cash now. Okay, just, right. just cut the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to do, in order to make this kind of interesting to see which way this goes, Titus, you're going to roll a d20. Hmm. Just a straight d20. Above 10, wait before you roll. Above 10, the turtle follows your commands. The, yeah. the advice you said to wait until they're out of sight to dive. If it doesn't, if you roll below 10, it will attempt to dive now. Oh, shit. Keep it a go. 
50-50. Goddamn sea creatures. A seven! What do you got? What's it doing? No! Oh, no! As it, just, as it succeeds in its sea trials initially, it's going down. he starts to thrash and move. Ah. And it tries to go under, and you hear the crew yell. Ah. It's happening! It's happening again! It's trying to dive! And then they, they bring their levitation spell into action. A, 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 a semi-invisible force surrounds the turtle almost instantly, and it brings it back up. It's not working! It's thrashing! And it turns its head up, turns around, and looks in your vague direction, <laughs> and goes, it's not working. <laughs> You're supposed to wait, you stupid <laughs> beast. <laughs> I ain't talking to you, stupid. Stop that. It starts to panic. Stop that. It starts to thrill. No. And the, the wizards start to shock it. You're making it worse. For <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> this is not going well at all. Oh God, I don't know what to do! Relax! <laughs> Slow! And it just slows down, Rock calms down, and relaxes once again into the sea. That's it, just gently now. They drift no, alongside you. They're kind of unimpressed. The ship drifts to the other by the side of you, and it's just like... The wizards are there, arms crossed. I tried! He didn't do what he was told. Look, Not our problem. It's hard to tame a beast, you must know this. You've been trying to all this time. It is difficult, we, we agree. We, um... Well... We wish this had gone better. Yeah. Unfortunately, the cash will remain in our possession as the only bartering token we have. Mm. But we fed you! We did feed you. We do need some payment for that. You wouldn't want to come and across as rude. I thought the triangle was a giving religion. <laughs> Where did you hear that? I don't know. I've... You just made that up. I barely respect the thing. You just made that up. What? You just made that up. <laughs> I don't make anything up. Are you trying to escalate this? How dare you? Don't escalate this. Oh, classic you wizard off. Son of a bitch. No! Oh, oh, wizard's so quick to anger. Tell that angry, aren't they? Turtle to eat you, but he won't. We'll set your entire ship alight. He won't even listen to me to do the basic of tasks. We will set your ship alight with the strength of a million suns. Oh, 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 I see. I right. heard that. Wizards, see. calm it down. A million. Oh, yeah. calm what about a trillion fires of hell? There is no such power. How there about, is not such power, you're right. Same that up, Shanglis. Correct. How about... <laughs> don't worry, I'll try and persuade him a little bit. Alright. How about... Alright, that didn't go quite as as we planned, but how about we just... Just in trade for our time and efforts and mm. feeding and watering all your crew and everything, how about you just give us one of your many uh, weapons or armories and well, payment? I'm not sure you've heard, but... We're at the Church of the Three-Pointed Star, well... Frankly, we like a gamble. How about we uh, make this interesting? Nah, just a just a normal kind of transaction. No, oh. he's in. <laughs> Was it street dice games? My favorite. Don't shake on it. Huh? No, no street, street dice shake. games. My favorite. <laughs> street dice. Street dice. <laughs> Nothing decides the fate better. Than the triangle street the D4, dice. The D4, yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, that's cool. Now, which game do you like to play in your... Uh... Best of three. Oh. Best of three, you this get is the what I meant. This is the four-sided triangle I was talking about. This is it, the four-sided triangle. One, two, three. Well, but what about the points? Do they count? Well, they're not side. They're, they're, they're four of them too. They're vertices. There's four vertices, four sides. Oh, that's exactly. Four... Call, call yourself a triangular. All right, best of three. Best of three. If I win, mm. we get the cash, mm. no questions asked, we'll be on our separate ways. And if I win? And if you win? We take the triton, the slave, to control the beast. Deal! <laughs> Seems like quite a big deal. <laughs> deal! deal. <laughs> first, Jesus. first toss. Well, you then. You, one, of, one of you, 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 you will roll for me. Take my holy die, slave. Doesn't have numbers on it? Oh, it does. I've got a two. A two, eh? Roll for me, Slip. What is that? Three. Ha <laughs> One to us. Shit. That's not very good, is it? Another? These aren't very fun to roll. Four! <laughs> One! One. <laughs> One to you. We win! No, best Shit. of three. No, I tried Fool. To get him. 
So what is it? If we win... So it's one apiece now. You get the cache of items. If I win, they we get, get the trident as a nice. slave to control the beast. I thought we could do yeah. words. Catch me if you can, bitch. <laughs> we could have gone. If we win, we I'm get I'm really in for gambling. If you lose. I act on impulse. This actually affects me more Three. than most of you. Four! Four! Oh, win. oh no! You're a slave now! <laughs> well, well, well. This sounds poor. But I'll go with you, wizards. We're gonna have a wizard Step onto the boat. Ooh. You will join the cadre of wizards. Your sh say goodbye to your shipmates. Bye. See ya. Are you alright with this? I'm guessing, right. you, I'm guessing you got some plans for this. Nah, <laughs> not yet. We'll yeah, think yeah, of something, yeah. Titus. Don't well. you worry. Let's go. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, you're going in the sea. Oh, I'm swimming. We're going to attach a rope to you, and you're going to swim next to the, the beast to keep it under control. You clearly have a relationship with it. Well, up to an hour. Up to an hour. That's literally the limitations of the spell I have. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we can use you for sack jobs or something. On you go. <laughs> oh my. Oh lord. <laughs> Let's go. Get those guppy mouth. Where are we Get going? those guppy yeah. legs in here. Do I have to swim still? Hmm? I can swim. You can swim. Talk to it. Then like one of the shipmates just comes over and ties a rope around your waist and then... Um, go on then, ah, it's gentlemen. Tight. It's been a pleasure. It's tight. Uh, it's yeah, we haven't actually used very much there, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, good luck with your continuing journey. Thank you for the food and drink. It's been an absolute pleasure. Triangle be with you. Uh, 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 come on. Bye. Come on. <laughs> See ya. Come on. In you go. Oh, well, they just, they just Let's usher them out. Sorry about they release, this. They yeah. release the hooks that they put on again. Hooks come off. Awkward. Forward! Mm. No, no, forward! Forward, cursed beast! Get Bridge. in there and talk to it. It's belligerent. And that is where we'll end part two of <laughs> session 13. Uh, it. This took longer than I thought it would. Um, oh, thank you for watching. We will continue this. We will resolve this next session, which may be a bit of a bumper session. So you might have to start a little bit earlier. Uh, but join us for the last session of this campaign, of this season, let's call it, of booty, high seas, low expectations, where we'll find out the fate of Titus, the slave, <laughs> and his... <laughs> His compatriots are now... Uh, what, gambled him uh, away. <laughs> <laughs> literally, on, on three rolls of a dice, they've gambled a man away. Wow. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us on Patreon. Thanks for everyone just enjoying this. Have you got anything you'd like to say? <laughs> no. I think you I said think, it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. You said everything. Yeah, me too. Me Perfect. Too. We'll see you in the next episode. The last one of the season. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.